Hi guys, how are you all doing? If you're new here, my name is Rodian and today in this video, it's a bit of a, a sort of a reply to last week's uh, video comment section um, with the, the chariot and more importantly, the way I have my nail in the chariot. So I have it pointy end down and uh, I did the recess joint with the uh, tuck pointer, finger pointer as some people call it, and we went through that. I had a few comments saying that I've been putting the nail in the wrong way around. I should have the head, the big round end, at the bottom. It makes life easier and quicker. Now, I'll tell you what, I've never thought about that. I've always taught to have the nail pointy end out the bottom and just go through as you would do and then go over it with a tuck pointer. I just never thought outside the box and put it in the other way around. So this video is purely going to be which one's faster, which one's quicker, to get the same effect. So what we're going to do, this panel here, which the video is coming out tomorrow, I'm going to do half of it the way I did it in the last video with uh, the nail pointing downwards and the tuck pointer and this half I'm going to be doing with the nail the opposite way around. Just basically going to see which one's quicker. That's uh, that's pretty much the size of it. That's it's just a nice quick little video to see uh, which is the best one. Now Pause the video now, everyone put your thoughts down below, which one's going to be quickest? Because what I'm going to do is I've got another cam camera just behind here, I'm going to put a little timer on my phone and we're just going to time it. I'll probably just time lapse it to make this video quite a short little video. So half of it I'll just buzz through it and then the other half do exactly the same. But then in the bottom corner, either this corner or this corner, I'm not quite sure yet which side, you'll have the timer as well so you see exactly how long each one takes. So that's pretty much the size of it, so let's uh, let's get cracking. So first side from these two perps, so it's one, two, three, four, five, it's six bricks wide. So these perps will designate the middle of the wall. So this side is just gonna be done. I'm not gonna worry too much about depth. I'm just gonna keep it as it is. It's about, about six mil. Well, I haven't moved it since the last video, so it's five, six mil. I'll just do that with that, iron it over, and then turn it around six mil. I'm not gonna be too fussed if it's not six mil because I ain't got tape here. I can't be bothered to go and get one. There we go, that's that. I'm gonna move you over here so you can get a nice a nice view of it because it's a bit, a bit on the wonk where you are. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. So let's move you over and uh, have a little test and see which is which. Right, we're all ready to go. This line, these three perps, this side, and we're gonna have that raked out with that. Okay, right. Let's start the timer. And we're off. Right, I've forgotten a brush, so we're going to pause that. Pause that one second while I get a brush. Right, and now we resume the timer. There we go. Right, and stop. Okay, as we can see, that has stopped at four minutes, four seconds, 0 0.33. I'm not gonna worry about the 3.3 unless for some reason we, uh, we get real stuck at the end there. So four minutes and four seconds. Right, so we'll reset that. Right, well, apart from me forgetting the brush, I don't think that came up too badly. A few little bits and pieces, but I was trying to go at a bit of speed. But yeah, I'll stop fiddling around with that now. And now I'll flip this round, put the head on the other end, and we'll try the other side. I'm quite interested to see what happens. Right, so in this one, I'm not going to use the tuck pointer unless for some reason I see it needs it. Because I'll be honest with you, I've never used it this way around. So this is a first for me, as it might as well be a first for some of you guys. So I'm just going to um, just run for it if it looks smart enough without having to use the tuck pointer then i won't bother and then i'll just brush it off at the end um i hope that this nail the head will actually fit in some of these joints because i did do this quite tight so, but anyway this is a real world experience because if it doesn't fit through then you're just gonna have to use tuck pointer or turn that around or come back to it afterwards so that'll all be in uh, taken into consideration when doing this so we'll start the timer again and uh, get going and we're off
Last little bit down there, there and there. Done. Right, before I look at the time, I haven't seen this yet. That felt much quicker. I think, cool, I'll tell you what. That was, I think that was much quicker, let's have a look. Bloody hell, two minutes and 26 seconds compared to four minutes and four seconds. I'm not gonna worry about the 73 on the end. I'll tell you what, that's half as fast. Half as fast, twice as fast, twice as fast. And I'll tell you what, that, I'll bring it up close in a second, but it looks identical. If you, there are a few little brush strokes on this, so I guess if you wanted, you could just do a, a very quick once over, once it's brushed, like so. But that, how long did that take? What, three or four seconds? So on top of that, I would say, boys and girls, those of you who said about doing it that way, you're onto a winner there. Cool, that flicked up right in my mince pie. You're onto a winner there. I will forever now be indebted to you guys. Let's have a quick look at this. Okay guys, we're up a little bit closer now. This side here is the side with the nail with the head out, as you can see here. And this section over here is with this end, focus, this end instead of the flat end. Now from this sort of area, it, it all looks pretty much the same. But the time does show. This side, I managed to get into all of the perps. Some of them I couldn't smooth over because my perps are quite tight. I don't know if you can tell here, the difference between how smooth this section is here compared to in here, it's a slightly little bit rougher. That's because I couldn't get the, the jointing tool in there to smooth it over. But the rest of them, it's, it's not too bad, generally. So this side, in half the amount of time, it would have to, I'd probably say I'd spend another sort of 30 seconds on this side because this joint, the head of that nail, if it would focus, wouldn't fit in that joint. If you had 10 mil joints, like you should have, I like a tighter joint, but if you should have, then that would have come up perfect. And also, if I had had a nail with a smaller head on the end, it would have also fit in there perfectly. But you can see some here, I had to dig this bit out with the jointer and the jointer wouldn't fit in there. The jointer wouldn't fit in there perfectly. So that, the bottom part would, the top part wouldn't. So a six mil jointer in the end would have been better than this eight mil. Here you can see the bottom part is smooth, the top part is not. But on the whole, these sections, because the nail head, or you just give it once over, literally one run through, with one run through, like wallop, job done. That's nice and smooth. And this section here, all I did, you saw me just, that's it, job done. Again here, that's it, job done. Once you brushed it off, you do that over it, and you'll be fine. This one here, I couldn't get the jointer in again, but that is again down to me having tighter joints. If I'd had a six mil one of these, and a smaller nail on the bottom of there, smaller head, mate, I'd have flown through that. So to all of those who commented on my previous video, I am never gonna be using this one again. It's this all the time. It's half, it's twice as quick to do the same amount. And uh, hopefully that little video, uh, that little video proved it. Right, okay guys, there we go. That has answered that little question. Not that the question was really asked, but I thought I'd see which was faster anyway. Lo and behold, you're all correct, and I've been taught wrong my whole life. So from there on out, if you're ever doing recessed joint, or if you're digging out or anything like that, digging out a bit of joint through here or anything like that, always use the flat head of the nail, not the pointy end. It is twice as quick, and this video will prove it. If anyone doesn't believe you, then show them this video, and then uh, there we go, the proof is there. Okay, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like down below if you have. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the weather struck and point. And then after that, we're going to be leaving pointing alone. We're going to be moving on to something else. So if you're interested to see what, stick around, subscribe. And I'll check you out in the next video. So take care and I'll see you then. Ta -ra. This video is a little bit of a... Uh, Sort of, not really a backlash now, let's start that again. Backlash is a bit of a shitty word. I'll tell you what, have I waffled on too much? Because if I completely stopped what I was going to say. Is that recording?
Is that even on? Come on, focus with the head this way. I'll tell you what, I'll clean that first. On this side, all oh crossed. Bloody falling over. Who put them bricks there? Right, there we go, guys. That's answered that question. Well, you told me <laughs> there was no, no, let's start that again. Don't even know what I'm talking about. Right, there we go, guys. That has answered that. Why am I saying the same thing again? What have I answered? What have I asked? That's the question. What have I asked? Which is faster? There we go, that's it, okay. Right, okay guys, there we go. That has settled that little dispute. Not that there was really a dispute there. There was a dispute in my head, really. Fucking hell, you don't have to waffle on. Why am I, why is it so hard to exit a video? Exit a video? Outro.